Good day, everybody! Today is actually a pretty exciting day and kind of a new occurrence. Something we used to do in the past, but once we got really busy, um, unfortunately, this is one of the first things to stop, and that is family doggy time! And every weekend, prior to us getting busy, we would always take our dogs out, or we would make it a point to take our dogs out and let them be one with nature. So if that was the beach, or if it was a dog park, or it was a hike, we made sure that we made it a point that we would take our pups out. So now we are bringing that back, and today is the beginning of that. <laughs> and we're actually gonna go to the dog beach. And this one's really cool because the dogs get to be off of a leash. And this guy doesn't have to be on his leash. Oh my goodness. What a schmuck. Yeah, so I'm super excited because I don't think I've ever taken Briggy to any sort of beach environment. I think she's actually felt sand, I'm not too sure, and I know she's seen water and has walked and like been in water, but I'm not too sure if she's had the beach experience. So I'm super excited to take her there and see how she's going to interact with other people, with other animals, and how she's going to react and act towards just being off a leash away from us. So hopefully she comes back and hopefully I can end this vlog with, yay, I have my dogs back and she doesn't run away with someone else. On and back. Yeah, where are we? We're at the Huntington Beach Dog Beach. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Look at all those little pupparoos running around everywhere without a reach. It is the coolest shit ever. These guys are just so excited to see this place. I did. Look at them. Come on, fun. It's time to be sniffing around piss. Time to get in the water. I don't even know if you're gonna get in the water to be honest. Look at those guys. Every time I see these dogs fetch and do these really cool tricks or jump in the water, I feel like, God dang it, as an owner, I haven't invested in much time in my dog to teach him anything new or expose him to anything really fun. Cause now I can't even play with them. Like now we're just gonna watch them run around and play with other things and animals. And we're not gonna have any part of that. All right, get them off the leash. Hopefully they come back. This way, Briggy. Come on. Come on, Briggy. Let's see how they do. There she goes. Where should we go? Come on, this way. Hi. Come on, Briggy. Maybe. Hi. Come here. Maybe we can go further down this way. Bart's trying so hard to get them used to the water. They're just not having it. Briggy! Briggy has no loyalty to us at all whatsoever. <laughs> what are you doing? Get in the water. She's trying to do everything she can to avoid the water. Oh, is Briggy gonna get in the water? Nope. Oh, oh, it wet her feet and she's just not having it. Briggy! Briggy! Look at that guy. <laughs> you just laughed her in the face. Why'd you do that? She just went like this. My dogs are the most boring dogs ever. Get in the water. Where did that water go? Briggy's probably shitting mad bricks right now. What happened? 
Oh shit, he's going deep. I just zoom in so much. Dang, he is about that. She's swimming. How cute. <laughs> Good job, Riggy. <laughs> oh man, now I know how our kids are gonna learn how to swim. It's not learning how to swim, they're gonna learn how to survive. This water is cold as fuck. Definitely not in Hawaii anymore, that's for sure. Riggy. She had no, I think she is tired as hell. That'd be awesome if she really loves it because of this. Riggy! Riggy! Oh, that's, that is definitely not Riggy. She's so friendly. Riggy! God damn it. She's gone. I'm gonna bring Fawn in. Okay. Fawn! Fawn has no idea what's happening. <laughs> Fawn already knows what you're gonna do. She's like, please don't do it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> there she goes. If she hates it, then we'll never do it again. Right, she'll make it right on in. Yeah. Come on. Pop, 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 pop. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. See <laughs> them big legs going up and down. Yeah, she's flipping out. Now she's gone ground. Now she's good. Oh, look at her. Now she stopped. So yeah. she liked it. So she can stand up. She does that to the, us all the time. Right. You never know what she's going to be doing. That's fun. <laughs> oh, look at the doctor. And you know what? They don't like water. No, normally they do not. Oh my goodness, Fawn is a fan. Oh, <laughs> look at Fawn now. Go over there. You like the water? You bozo. Wow, Daddy, you did a good job. You like the water now, huh? It's not so bad. Come here. Come on, Fun. It's not so bad. Call her. Go, Fun. Come here. Oh, you're so brave. Good girl. Good girl, Funny. <laughs> Good job. Over there, over there. Come on. Come on. Come on, Fawn. Over here. Come here, Fawny. Come here, baby. Come here, Fawny. You're such a fast learner. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, Fawny. Fawn. Fawn, up, 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 up. Good girl. Yeah, hey, we all experienced this moment together. So proud of you. This is awesome. There you go! Good job, Fawny! Come on, Fawn! Come on! There you go! Good job, Fawn! There you go! Come on, Fawny! Go, Fawn!
funny. <laughs> oh no, waves kind of scare her. Ah! It's not that bad. She is awesome. She's a rescue, so we had no idea what skill set she had, her temperament or whatever. All we knew is that she's this very scared and timid dog. She's been severely abused, but dang, she is a daredevil. Good job, Fawn. So proud of you. Good job, Fawny! Good job! I'm so proud of you. That is awesome. Good job, PB. Funny, come here. Come here. Good job. You are a good girl. Good job. Oh, the waves kind of. We can bring you to Hawaii now. Funny. Come here, funny. Funny. Up. Wah! You big cutie. Briggy keeps going over there. I don't know why. But she keeps going over to that family. I think she likes the shade or something. Maybe next time we should bring an umbrella. Briggy! Briggy! There's Fonny. There's Ma Bear. Hey, Ma Bear. I'm oil fish. I know. Fawn just jumped all over me. Look at that. Did she hurt you? No, it's kind of cute. Sometimes her toenails are sharp. Briggy! Briggy, there she is. Briggy, come back to your family. I know. Good girl. Good girl. Pie. You big kitty pie. Come here. Come here. Come here, You're Briggy. Out. Come here, Briggy. Come here. We're going to go back. Your mom's going to tan. I think your dad's going to swim. Good girl. The indoor dog. She's not really feeling it out here. She's not a fan of the heat. Fawn got to swim a lot today, huh, Fawn? Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Not so much Briggy though. Briggy, we gotta keep bringing her out so that she can get used to it. This guy over here though, he has a good pawn. Over here, this guy. This guy and his weird family. We're a bunch of weirdos, you know that? We are? I don't know, look at your daughter. They're cute. They're big cuties. She's over it. She's had enough. I think we're gonna go eat now. Uh, I think we're done here. And I think we're gonna get the family of the right? Yeah. We're gonna go get some beef fist. Are we gonna get it from here? Around gotta, this area? We gotta look up a restaurant that allows puppies. Oh, I guess we're gonna go home, drop it the whole time. We are? <laughs> I don't know. No, I said we're gonna look for a restaurant that I allows know, puppies. I know, it was just oh. funny. Oh. That's why you're the comedian in the relationship. Oh, fine. Fine. Ready to go? Briggs? You gonna go home? Yeah, huh? Loser. Alright, Popper. We're about wrapping it up. How was your experience with the babies? I really liked, um... I really enjoyed today because I love swimming and I used to swim all the time in beaches, lakes, rivers, all kinds of stuff. And I used to go camping a lot with Tyson and I taught him how to swim. Well, dogs know how to swim on their own, but they need to learn how to overcome fear and enjoy jumping into the water on their own. So I taught Tyson how to overcome that fear. And then when I brought him next to swimming pools, like he would just start walking in on his own and he really enjoyed it. So I'm trying to teach Briggy and Fawn the enjoyment of swimming because I really enjoy just swimming out in the deep end and having them swim with me. It's like a different type of bonding than just walking. And uh, today was their first lesson and they both did really good. I'm really proud of you guys back there. They trusted me and because sometimes you'll bring dogs out and for some reason like even though you're holding them and you keep telling them I got you, I got you and you're petting them, they're still freaking out. But for them, when, when they start panicking, I would hold them. And I think when they felt my heartbeat next to theirs, and I would pet them, then they would calm down and they would stop freaking out. I'm like, I got you, I got you. And I would pet them. And um, they did really, really good for their first swim lesson. I'm really happy. How many more swim lessons are they going to have? Hopefully at least 
once, hopefully at least one a month, if not every week or every other week. And we still got a couple weeks until summer's over, so the water is going to be warm for a while. So hopefully we can take advantage of that and uh, continue the swim lessons. And they could really, really love swimming with their family. It was a really awesome approach that Bart took. Bart's the type of person to not, um, he'll like slowly push you into the direction that he knows is going to be to your advantage. But then there gets to a point where he just like has enough. He's like, okay. You're not even trying to push yourself to experience new things. So then he takes matters into his own hands and he's the type of person that he just jumps in head to toe. There's some of us that likes to stick our toe in the water and we're like, oh, okay, I'm, let me just take my time. But he's just like, I've had enough. I'm pushing you in there. So that's basically what he did with the pups. He just like grabbed them, threw them in there. And I was really happy that he did that approach. Cause for me, I just, I felt like it just deemed the quickest, fastest results. And I was watching it and I'm like, oh man, you could see like paw, uh, Fawn's paws like spread open because she's just like, I don't know what to do, I need balance, and her tail was going bananas, but it was really cool. And then once she got out of the water, she was so happy to see me, and then she jumps on me, and then she gives me this. She gave me this guy right here. Oh, she was so man. happy to see Holy me. Holy shit, is there a, is it so swelling? Yeah. yeah. she got you good. That one, and then she gave me this right here. And then she got even more excited and then gave me this right here. So yeah, a lot of excitement happening today from the pups and they're in their kennel now so you don't see anything. They're tired. They're, it's, they're in there though. And the reason we got a kennel is because uh, they shed a lot and they're sliding all over the place. And the fact that Fawny has been kettle trained and that's where she feels the most comfortable, safe and secure. So it only made sense to put them in a good spot and for us not to have to clean fur all the damn time. And we transport a ton of people in this car on a weekly, so we don't want to get fur on everyone's nice clothes before they have to shoot like JK films and all that stuff. Yep. Having dinner now. Wait, wait, having breakfast, lunch, and maybe dinner. Is no, it's dinner? just breakfast and lunch. We're gonna have another meal after this for sure. I'm starving. Okay, so this is the first meal of the day. And we are at Lala's in Melrose, and this is an Argentine grill, so I'm super excited because I'm so starving and I haven't eaten anything all day. So because I haven't eaten anything all day, they're so awesome to bring you this bread and some chimichurri sauce right here. Which is gone. Which is gone. And then this is our second, uh, second serving of bread. And I'm so hungry, and Bart's like, you have to stop eating this because you're not going to eat your food, you're not going to eat your food, but... It's six o'clock. Six o'clock, and it's our first meal. I am starving. We, we really wanted to dedicate the day to our pup pups, so we're like, oh, we got to get as much sun as we can for the dogs, but then after they had their fun, they knocked the hell out. Now it's time for Papa Bear time, and Papa Bear loves to eat. Uh, Who's that guy? Who? That guy. This is Mark Bell, my friend. He looks weird. He looks like a human potato head. He is a human potato head. I'm gonna eat a bread. I'm hungry. Savage. All right, an appetizer came in, and these are called moyas. And what the waitress basically said is, she says it's an acquired taste, and it's this part of the cow. She says it's beef, but it tastes like chicken. Oh no. Is it bad? Oh, it's interesting. Great. Oh no. I'm scared now. I gotta try it. Can you hold it, please? Yeah. I think I fucked up. She convinced me when she says it's good. It tastes like grilled chicken. But, but like beefy, hint. yeah. Yeah. Hint of beef. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. Good. That's interesting. I wonder how lean this is. No idea. I feel like 
don't know if I could just eat it the way it is though. I feel like I need some like some sort of seasoning or like something. Here. Okay, I'll try that. But I feel like it needs some sort of seasoning. Like by itself is kind of weird to me. The flavor is it's too strange to the point where like I don't even know what to do with it. Yeah. We'll take it to go. Meaning, okay. yeah, the pups are gonna eat it? <laughs> yeah. The after flavor I don't like very much. I got my rices and I got my french fries. So happy. This was one of my favorite restaurants. You guys probably will see me come here all the time. The moment you've been waiting for. Okay, and I got my rices, my mashed potatoes, and my meat to sis. And it wasn't the moment I've been waiting for, uh, but it is the moment I've been waiting for. Driving back home, it's a Saturday, and normally Saturdays mean people stay at home with their family away from any sort of freeway, but nope, not in LA. Everyone's out and about, I guess just like us. Doing their thing a thing. It's really dark. You turn the ND filter off. Try to turn the ND filter off though, guys. All right, ready? For the ND filter change. Ready? Three, two, bam! 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 Bart knows everything. Oh, there you are. There I am, hello. <laughs> I'm a technology noob. I don't technology. Fucking I appreciate it, but I never got it. How are you talking to me like that? Because it looks cool. Ooh. Hey, wait, how come you're not using your GoPro? Mrs. Kwan. Ha <laughs> ha! Mrs. Kwan. That's weird.